necessarily going to be wanted not necessarily going to want to be fighting right he just wants to be farming up and scaling up they have these huge dive threats if there's any scenario where they find a flank it's going to be very difficult for we we have good anti-dive years and bin and pew pew were on the same roster they were you know alternating between the main spot on sooning back in the days and all in on the bottom side they're both going to disengage in the end doggo going to get a couple of autos in that's some big damage and a hook coming through kadaya in trouble one more rocket the ignite taking a doggo flashes for first blood it's answered by stay but crisp is just going to auto him down one more auto would do the trick but crisp not going to flash for it. Now an all-in on the top side as well. I don't have time to talk history today, my friends, because Breathe is caught out here. The flash stun from Beishung, and it's one for one on the board. Fantastic for WE, right? The all-in looks favorable for BLG on the bot side, but critically, uh, because of that hook coming out from Chris, but now oh, this might no. be a turnaround. Stay in trouble. Oh, but a TP immediately on the bottom side. Stay survives for now as Chris tries to get him, but Guardian oh. keeps him alive. And it's crisp to fall. Beautifully done by WE. That's two Drakes. And it's Hextech Soul as well. That's really advantageous for WE. They have a gold lead this time, albeit it's a small one. Maybe Bew Bew's in trouble. He's going to have to clear this wave as fast as he physically can because Fofo is here to dive. And I don't think clearing the wave is going to be enough here. But now Tank of the Tower is breathed. Bew Bew knocks him away, knocks him to safety. Not sure about that one. And he will go down. Fofo gets the kill. I mean, that was a bit of a disaster. Now Shanks. Coming in alongside Beishung, perhaps an answer, perhaps a huge play here. But Weiwei is en route as well. And it's going to be Shanks flashing the fear, knocked underneath his own tower. Weiwei is going to be able to disengage for his team though. This Fofo is still full HP, just trading with Beishung. You want to enjoy that late game. Because yes, you can space, you can outrange in a lot of situations. But if you do get caught, my god, we'll just press R. Here we go, Weiwei with an engage on this Hecarim, but he's just one shot. Cutting back from WE is Fofo now trying to make it happen, but Stay survives the dive. And this was way too much from W uh, from BLG, sorry. Three. I'm not sure we're gonna get to that point. WE in a very strong position currently. They have complete control. They will be fighting on their terms. And it's not like Aphelios doesn't scale. Here we go. BLG forcing a fight onto Kadaya here. And they found themselves a pick 4v5 now. And BLG want a little bit more. Chasing Beishung at the top side of the fight. And now jumping onto the rest of the squad. A great hook from Chris. Onto Shanks there. As WE forced away. And Shanks will be taken down. Or will he? Walks away with his life. And somehow Stay gets a kill. Doggo going underneath the tower here. Zap onto Bew Bew, but can't find anything more. Stay, but once again, massively up in CS. He's almost on that three item mark. He's half an item ahead of Stay as an engage comes out from Kadaya, but it misses. Goes wide. Doggo having to use the heal just to keep himself safe. Chris had to flash as well. And now the WE want a little bit more. Crisp is stuck on this one. Shock blast in. But way, way triple fear here. Trying to protect his support. Breathe on the back line. But he's 1v5. Fofo joins the fray as well. And these two solo laners causing absolute mayhem for WE. Double kill though. Four shanks before he went down. Now stay jumps forward and finishes off Fofo. Nothing the Akali can do. And it feels like this is just individual players flexing on each other. Yeah, it looked a bit precarious because they committed heavily forwards via the Vega cage. But it just completely dealt with the bot lane of BLG. Chris goes down. Doggo can't even join the fight. And as much as the backline has come in. To what Fofo and Breathe could do together to backline the WE. Beautifully done. And now WE once again are just going to start the Baron. They really don't care. They've got the Hextech Soul. And they found themselves an engage. Down goes Chris. Wait, wait. With another great fear. But he's just not tanky enough yet. Now Fofo in the backline. Beishang trying to survive. Will smite the Baron. But Breathe finishes him off. Fofo killed mid air. It's stay now. Trying to get the autos across. Good stun. Good baby cage. And Breathe has nowhere to go. He can't leave. He's corralled in the cage. And taken down. WE yet another fire is. Burnham certainly will help when it comes to this team fight. Rocket comes on through. Smite actually used he by Beishon very early on this one. The Baron low on HP. They need to finish this one off. There we go. Baron taken. And now the fight. But the fear on the entire team from Weiwei. Fofo in the middle of everyone as well. Bew Bew flashes over the wall. Stay goes down. In the meantime, Beishon buying space for his team as they desperately get over the wall. Two for two. But they're happy with that because WE get yet another Baron. All alone underneath the tower. We do have Shanks. Off to the side here with his ultimate yeah, available. Uh, that primordial burst has got Crisp's name written all over it. See you later. There is no counterplay for supports against Vygar. Yeah, and they're the ones the Baron buffs. So they let this wave die bot, which is a bit... We, you know, we've been cracking in some, some of the ults. 
At least Doggo most has had of them some serious ults, yeah. At least most of them have been in the right direction. I'll say that much. <laughs> I don't know if it was a misclick. I don't oh. know. Whoa! Where did Breathe go? That's a bit of damage coming out from Shanks. And that might just be the game, honestly, with Baron in their pockets. WE, a man advantage. No top laner for the side of BLG. They can at minimum get two inhibitors here. I think they could potentially push for more. It's going to be a reset coming out from Shanks. He's got TP back in. available. If they can get the minions under the tower, they're going to be able to get that bonus damage. One Nexus tower falls. Weiwei toying with the idea of engaging, but it's too late. The fear comes in, but straight onto the Nexus go WE. It's a win here for WE. They've been struggling to get anything on the board, but Base Chunk is on the Nexus. Stay once a bit more as Crisp gets onto the fountain, but WE.